Listen up guys, what I've got for you today is the five reasons why you must get out of your comfort zone. But success happens when you're outside your comfort zone, not when you're in it. That's the reality. Welcome back to my channel guys, the Stay Well Conversations. Yes sir. Now before I get started, make sure to make the algorithm by smashing that like button, hit that red subscribe button. And if you want to go your mind, body and spirit, become the best version of yourself, then feel free to join the Patreon. Link in the description. So let's talk about it. You have to get out of your comfort zone. If you're in you're procrastinating, you're lazy, you know, you're just getting by every day, you know, making a lot of excuses, whatever, it's not going to get you anywhere. You're just going to die a loser. You're going to suffer in mediocrity. Only that one life that you got to live and you didn't maximize your potential, which is a great shame and embarrassment if you think about it, you know? Yeah, you cannot be the fear. You have to step into discomfort. The more, the better. The more, the better. Now, because life teaches you a lesson. Life teaches you a lesson, then you get a blessing. That's how it works. It doesn't matter. It don't matter who you are, how much money you got, X, Y, Z. Is that you have to? You have to always put yourself into a position to suffer. They keep pushing the boundaries. They keep pushing the boundaries. You know, that's how it is. So, first of all, is is that the only way for you to go to the next level in your life, whether it's mental, mental, physical, spiritual, financial, you have to get out of your comfort zone. So if you're reading 10 pages, 10 pages a week, that increases to 15, then 20. You know, if you're learning a skill, if you are learning, if you learn a skill, you master a skill, then you learn, you learn another skill. You know, physically, physically, you are lifting X amount of weight. Now you have to, each week, you have to keep pushing the boundaries. You put your lifting heavier, heavier weight. Spiritually, spiritually, you can you can give more. You can be um, you can give more words of encouragement. You have to constantly keep uh, get out of your comfort zone, non-stop, and it does never end. That's the only way for you to be successful, for you to grow, day in day out. If you're not, if you're not, if you're not get out of your comfort zone, then you stay exactly where you are. That's how it is, bro. There's no other way. So you get used to it with a smile and keep getting out of your comfort zone and keep growing. Number two, right, it uh, opens your perspective on life. So realizing that, you know what it's like, when you, if you do not do nothing, if you don't, or if you don't test yourself, you don't get out of your comfort zone, then you're not going anywhere. You know, and like, you can't, and life, is, life, is not, life won't be able to teach you a lesson because because not getting out of comfort zone. But when you, the moment you get out of your comfort zone, and you put um, and you work on that thing day in day out, life is gonna teach you a lesson, so you get the blessing because you're you're in pain and suffering. That's how it is, and that. Any uh, to get to achieve anything of significance, you have to you have to suffer in any way, shape, or form. If you smile in your face and embrace and enjoy it, and you go, then you then you, you show the universe that no, this guy deserves to go to the next level. Then you will go to the next level. That's how it is. You know, so it opens your perspective on reality. You know, you can view, you can see, look at the reality in a different lens than you was doing before. You know, number three is it tests your character. It raises who you are. It tests your heart. What are you made of? You've got financial difficulties. You got financial difficulties. What should, what, what, what that should you take? Should you go left? Should you go right? What, what, which, which, which dash are you going in? You know, if you're broke, okay, cool. You need to go back to the drawing board. Get rid of the, the bad habits that you do spend spending money recklessly on, on meaningless things and keep the money aside. You know, that is the way, that's the way to go about it. And that's going to test your character. You're out of shape. So how are you going to get in shape in that? You have to go and do, go and do your research, put, put in the work. You know, put in the work and change your diet, change your mindset. That's the way it is now. And then you test, uh, that's where you test, your character gets tested. And then you become a brand new person. Step number four, which is you overcome fear and procrastination. You're fearing, oh, Peter, what, 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 you, what you think people think of you when you go to the gym. Or you look at everyone's all fit, strong, you're not. And you procrastinate, that's why you started going to the gym. You think about starting a skill, you think about your friend or your friend, your friend or family member thinking, why 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 not go and get a job? You know? What you could be comfortable, go and get a job, get security, 
that's comfortable. That's not that, that's comfortable. You know, go anywhere that way either. You know. So again, a bit, again, again, you're a bit basically washing yourself all the, the fear and procrastination that you have of yourself. Now, why not starting that thing that you want to start? You can't see stalling. Shall I do? Shall I do? You think about the worst that's going to happen. And you're not go that, that way, you're not going to go anywhere. You can stay exactly where you are. That's, that's the problem with a lot of people. They're fear and procrastination. You know what I mean? Uh, they can go to the gym a week, a month. Years gone by, still exactly the same place. I'm going gym, but still think about all the worst and about the concern about the diet plan and working out. All these, all these little minor details that hold you back. They can stay, they can stay exactly where you are. You, you don't deserve any better. And the last step I've got is when you get out of your comfort zone, that increases your self confidence and belief in yourself. But for example, you go to the gym for a couple of months and you see the changes in your body you know you got you got a little bit of shape you know and you do it consistently you're eating healthy you're sleeping right that boosts your confidence a great amount of confidence in yourself the feeling like, oh, okay i can i can conquer i can conquer this uh, this area of my life now i can also i can also open the door to towards towards a progressing in the skill training progressing in your career that's the way it is then you then you continue to progress but you have to do this by getting out of your comfort zone to get this the self to get the, the confidence and believe in yourself because no nobody's gonna give it to you you have to earn it you have to earn it day in day out and you, you, you watch yourself building get stronger get stronger get smarter over over a period of time and and that that's the beauty of get out your get out of your comfort zone that's the beauty of struggle where struggle is when you it's when you go to the next level is that is put that skin looks like a snake put it skin become brand a whole brand new that's what you're doing as well by get out of your comfort zone but it's like you get comfortable your comfort zone you might be thinking that you're going somewhere whatever you're just doing going to you're just going to do this what abc and that's it good but it don't work like that you have to put in the work you have to put in the work and that. You know I mean you have to keep step up the levels, step up the levels. And then you get to the other side. You know what I mean? But the other side is temporarily because once you reach there, you have to go and go and step your foot out again to reach the other side again. So it never ends in that. That's the beauty of life. It's constant levels. There's level within everything. Every every area of your life, there's levels. You have to keep pushing it, you have to keep pushing it gradually. That's the way it works in that. So that's pretty much the end of the video. The five reasons why you, why you must get out of your comfort zone. To continue to grow, evolve. That's our point we, we as human beings to be, is to evolve. The animals are growing, nature is growing, so we have to grow as well. Otherwise, we're not doing, we're not doing ourselves justice by so-called being the, the, the most intelligent species on the planet. If you're not evolving, then it's, it's pointless. You know what I mean? We don't deserve, deserve the title. So because you get make sure that you continuously get out of your comfort zone gradually. You have to take huge steps, can be small steps, and you accumulate it over a period of time. Then you build up you get that compound interest and then get to the then you, you get to the other side. So that being said, make sure to smash the like button, hit that red subscribe button, and make sure to check the description the, the description if you want to go your mind, body, and spirit. Feel free to join the Patreon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.